Hey everybody and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use a personal account in order to get Power Apps set up essentially for business use. So what it's going to end up doing is giving you a, an on Microsoft email address or email account once you get set up. Basically, you're using your personal account and then Microsoft will do the rest for you. So let's jump straight in. I do wanna note that this is not free. There is a cost, although it is very low. I think mine is something like $5 a month. Sometimes you can ask for discounts. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to this website here. Now what you can do when you're here, you'll see there's a start free option, but on the page you should see an option for chat with sales. Now they'll give you the uh, start time. So for example, it might be out of hours for a given region, but typically if you're doing this during the actual day or the time that they're open, then you can say something like business use, and then you can choose business sales. What we're doing here is where you going through the bot prompts to get to an actual person. Now you'll see that they have an associate that's not available right now, but if I was doing this during the normal hours, I would be able to communicate with an associate who would then get me set up for an account. Now you'll go through the process with them, but they can send you a link to click and actually sign up and complete so you don't have to pass your payment information through a bot. But the general idea here is you can ask them about signing up for the developer program and see if you can get the free account. But what I did was I went through that process and I used a personal Outlook account and then they were able to essentially set that up with an on Microsoft domain. So it's your email dot on Microsoft dot com or something like that and then you'll immediately have Power Apps attached. Now, one thing to note is you don't get every single 365 app associated with it, so you need to make sure that you let them know the different apps and connectors that you're going to need to try to get the best pricing. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.